All right, let's look at the fillet options. So <clears throat> once again, we go to our fillet. I'm going to stick with symmetric. Uh, let me just change this to two um, and circular for viewing. So we down here to your fillet options. <clears throat> All right. Our choices for the fillet options, select through faces, keep features and round corners. Select through faces, what that does allow you to do when you are trying to select, let's say, a corner. Notice how sometimes the, the hidden corner on the other side lights up. This will let you select items through. It's much easier, actually, if you had this on. This allows you to select the items through your object. So if I wanted to do, like, say, the opposite side, I can select through um, the uh, surfaces and get to the other sides. So that's what select through faces. If I didn't have it selected now, I can always select you know, the faces that I'm on or the edges I can see. You know, uh, without that select faces through, you know, you'd have to really, I want to select this, this, I'll get this corner. You have to rotate your part. It becomes uh, a pain after a while. So this actually speeds it up. Keep features. When it's not selected, let's say we did a fillet around this side. But, uh, let me see, it's kind of hard on the larger side. Let me do a a asymmetric. Okay, this one's a good example because see now asymmetric, see how uh, the actual fillet goes through uh, this feature, this square, and, and this circular hole. Let me make it look a little better. So when you have keep features, when I do this um, fillet. These features that the fillet actually engulfs, takes over, will stay. Okay. But, same fillet. If I didn't have that, key features, all the features that are uh, this fillet pretty much go through, you know, engulf, they'll uh, be taken away, disappear. So that's the difference between the keep features. One thing that uh, you'll notice from experimentation is that if your fillet doesn't go all the way through, let's see if I can get this correctly out, that's right on the edge. How about uh, 13? See this uh, fillet now, it goes, you know, it fully engulfs the uh, circular feature, but doesn't fully engulf uh, the square feature. So now, if I had uh, didn't have keep features on, uh, I expect that only this circle will disappear. It doesn't work if you don't have the, um, the fillet all the way through the feature. So if you only partially get through a feature with the fillet, you know if it just touches if if your fillet just touches the feature, it's not going to make it disappear when you don't have the um, the keep features option selected. Now, let me go back to symmetric, let's do a five, but actually let me select a different edge, delete. Let's go for uh, these corners here. Actually, let's do a three, just, just for clarity. I just want to select two edges. And I don't want that tangent propagation. All right, that one, I accidentally selected the face. Yep, oops. Delete. See, sometimes, yeah, you're like, hey, why did it do that? Uh, I accidentally select the face, so I don't want to delete that face. I just wanted this edge. So, last bit on our fillet, fillet options, we have this round corners. And notice that when you have two, um, you know, edges that are filled together. You know, the you know, it's basically if I were to look at this from one edge, I can see the fill on that side. And if I look from this one, I see the fill on that side. Um, and they have a line down the middle. This is uh, where they intersect. If you have around the corners, this makes a, a nicer transition around 
between the intersection of fillets. And this will work if you're doing like a, uh, a loop all the way around. You hit the uh, round corners, it will do on every single corner. But that's the difference between, you know, if you don't have round corners, it's more of a sharp right, you know, right angle. Do round corners, it makes a smooth transition around the corners. And that is our fillet options.